I was born a Jewish infant in Budapest, Hungary, in January 1944. Two months later, the German army occupied the Wehrmacht, occupies Budapest, deports half a million people um, to their deaths in Auschwitz, uh, my maternal grandparents being amongst them. That experience sets your brain in a certain way, because it is all about trauma. So addiction is manifested in any behavior that a person craves, finds temporary pleasure or relief in, but then experiences negative consequences in the long term and doesn't give up. So I'm gonna ask you now, by that definition, Brian, have you ever had an addictive behavior in your life? Uh, yes, many. In my opinion, I was probably a functional alcoholic. I drank every day. It gave me temporary relief. From? From the pain I was feeling, usually related to interacting with my fellow humans. As a spiritual teacher said, addictions all begin in pain and they end in pain. So why do people use, why do people engage in addictions? Because they have deep emotional problems they don't have the means to resolve on their own. Most chronic illnesses also originate in trauma, including autoimmune disease and cancer, and uh, degenerative nervous system disorders, and, and so on, because of the unshakable unity of mind and body. Eckhart Tolle was a spiritual teacher um, he said that the greatest achievement of humankind is not its architecture or art or, or scientific uh, glories, but our ability to see our own insanity. That, that's where the healing is. By the way, healing comes from the Anglo-Saxon word for wholeness. So I, I have a totally optimistic message, really. I think healing is entirely possible. So if we're going to heal, if, if we're going to become whole, let's look at everything.